is a poo, so round and so sweet. Waddles through the forest on honey-filled feet. With a jar in his hand and a growl in his tongue. He's always on the hunt for that golden yum-yum. Oh, bother, he says with a scratch of his head. As he climbs up a tree for his sticky bread. But the bees in the hive have other ideas. They buzz and they chase him with tiny, mad squeals. Piglet says, Pooh, be careful. You see, you're not quite as light as you think you might be. But Pooh just laughs with a grin full of cheer. If I fall, there's always my belly right here. From Eeyore to Tigger, his friends always know that Pooh's love for honey will forever grow. So off he goes with a rumbly tum sound. The happiest bear bumbling all around town. He stumbles along with a smile so wide. And honey drips down from the pot by his side. Rabbit rolls eyes, saying, Pooh, once again, you've eaten my garden. Is that really then? Oh dear, says our Pooh, with a sticky-cheeked grin. I thought it was honey, you know, from within. Rabbit just groans and scurries away. While Pooh shrugs it off, it's a wonderful day. Then Tigger bounces by with a bowing in the spring. Come on, Pooh Bear, let's do the bounce and sing. But Pooh simply chuckles, too full to reply. You bounce, I'll nap beneath this blue sky. And so he flops down, his pot in his lap, with dreams full of honey and a nice little nap. But even in sleep, his tummy will roar. A bear's work, you see, is never a bore. So if you find Pooh in the hundred-acre wood, he's likely just dreaming of snacks that taste good, with friends by his side and honey galore. The adventures of Pooh will last evermore. As Pooh snoozed away, the clouds drifting high, a scent of fresh honey soon tickled his eye. He sniffed and he snorted, still lost in his dream of honey rivers flowing in the golden stream. Suddenly, Conga and Roo wandered near, with a picnic of goodies and baskets of cheer. Wake up, Mr. Pooh, said Roo with a hop. There's honey in here that'll make your eyes pop. Pooh stirred with a start, his nose in the air. Did someone say honey? Now that's only fair. He scrambled to join, though his legs were so slow. But for honey, we know, he'd give any old go. Eeyore mopped in, was his tail hanging low. Enjoy your picnic, though it's sure to snow. But Pooh waved him over. Come sit by me, friend. There's plenty of honey for us to attend. So they all gathered round, with laughter and cheer, sharing stories of Tigger's wild bouncing career. Pooh grinned as he munched, his pot nearly clean. For in this sweet moment, life felt like a dream. And as the sun set on that warm, perfect day, the friends all agreed in their own special way. That was honey, good pals, and the sky painted blue. Every day sweeter when you're with Winnie the Pooh.